Hello to all the loyal supporters of the Sligo International Chamber Music Festival and a special welcome to anyone who's new to the festival. It's a great festival, I highly recommend it. Uh, concerts happening in the Model Arts Centre in Sligo Town and also in the beautiful setting of the church at Drumcliff, right at the foot of Ben Bulban Mountain. And uh, a beautiful place to stay for the festival is at the uh, hotel in Ross's Point. And you're guaranteed spectacular weather too, so put it in the diary for next year. Unfortunately, we aren't in the uh, gallery in the Model Arts Centre to do this concert today, but we are delighted to present it from the showroom in the National Gallery in Dublin. In 1874, the Russian composer Modest Mussorgsky uh, walked into a gallery much like this to attend an exhibition of paintings designs and sketches by his close friend Victor Hartmann who had died suddenly in the previous year and he had the idea to write a set of piano pieces uh, based on 10 of the pictures which he saw at the exhibition hence the title pictures at an exhibition and these included an architectural design for a great gate at the entrance to the city of Kiev um, a design for a children's ballet where the children are hatching out of eggs in the ballet of the unhatched chicks and traditional paintings on canvas. He also uh, wrote a promenade at the very beginning where he, he depicts himself walking into the gallery, strolling in and this music reappears throughout the suite a number of times between the movements, but it's always changed to reflect the mood of the piece that has just gone before. Many of the pictures which inspired this suite have been lost over the years, but we're delighted that today we are going to show you some artwork by Sean McSweeney, a very close friend of the festival, uh, he was, and uh, these pictures, while abstract, will hopefully capture something of the mood of the music.
The Hungarian composer Sultan Kodai wrote Dances of Galanta in 1933 for orchestra. Uh, he lived in the town of Galanta, which is now in Slovakia, for some time when he was a boy. And he, he wrote that there was a very famous gypsy band in that town, which he first heard playing these tunes. And he described it as his first orchestral sonority, listening to this gypsy band. And when I was about 12 or 13, my older brother brought me to see the RTE Symphony Orchestra. It was my very first concert, orchestral concert, and the very first piece they played was Dances of Galanta by Kodai. So in a sense, it was my first orchestral sonority too. And it's a piece of music I love and I've listened to many times over the years. And I'm delighted to have had the opportunity to arrange it for this combination of instruments today. It's a premiere. And I'd like to think that that gypsy band in Galanta almost 100 years ago was probably not very different to the lineup of violin, saxophone, accordion, and double bass that you're going to hear today.